This is the TNA Wrestling Rebellion 2024 Full Show Results video which happened at Palms Casino Resort in Paradise, Nevada. The show begins with a match between Ace Austin, Chris Bay, and Leon Slater vs Trey Miguel, Zachary Wentz, and Myron Reed, and the result of this match was Ace Austin, Chris Bay, and Leon Slater defeated Ace Austin, Chris Bay, and Leon Slater by pinfall. Then Gia Miller interviewed with First Class, AJ Francis, and Rich Swan and Francis announced their guest, the Manboy Mafia, while Swan confidently declared his intent to defeat Henry. Then we saw a match between Crazy Steve vs Laredo Kid for the Digital Media Championship, and the result of this match was Laredo Kid defeated Crazy Steve by pinfall to become the new Digital Media Champion. Then we saw a match between Jody Threat and Danny Luna vs Rosemary and Havoc for the Knockouts World Tag Team Championship, and the result of this match was Jody Threat and Danny Luna defeated Rosemary and Havoc by pinfall to retain the Knockouts World Tag Team Championship. Following the match, Masha Slamovich and Alicia Edwards emerged to assert their claim as the next challengers for the titles and Spitfire accepted the challenge, offering to face them in the ring. DJ Ashba showed up and sang the national anthem. The next match happened between Mustafa Ali vs Jake Something for the X Division Championship, and the result of this match was Mustafa Ali won the match by pinfall to retain the X Division title. We saw that NFL star Sean Merriman was spotted at ringside during the match. Then we saw a match between Rich Swan vs Joe Hendry, and the result of this match was Rich Swan won the match by pinfall when Sean Merriman was seated in the front row, and he stepped in to stop Francis Antix. Merriman entered the ring to Jack Jaws with Francis, as the referee tried to restore order, Merriman blindsided Hendry with a clothesline and then Swan hit the frog splash. Rich Swan emerged triumphant, while Merriman embraced Francis after the match, adding a layer of intrigue to the ongoing storyline and Hendry got a hottie price for losing, that's fun. Then we saw a full metal mayhem match between Frankie Kazarian vs Eric Young, and the result of this match was Frankie Kazarian won the match by pinfall after Kazarian executed a flux capacitor rolling moon's alt side slam through a table. Steve Macklin comes to the ring and makes a bold declaration, adamant about making his presence felt on this momentous night and refusing to be overlooked, he demands a match then and there, asserting that he wouldn't depart until his request was granted. Responding to the challenge, Morella announced Macklin's opponent, and it was none other than the returning Mike Santana, whose comeback had been eagerly anticipated. Then we saw a match between Mike Santana vs Steve Macklin, and the result of this match was Mike Santana defeated Steve Macklin by pinfall. Then we saw a match between Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards vs Mike Bailey and Trent Seven for the TNA World Tag Team Championship, and the result of this match was Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards defeated Mike Bailey and Trent Seven by pinfall to retain the TNA World Tag Team Championship. Then Alexander Hammerstone and Josh Alexander fought in a last man standing match, and the result of this match was Josh Alexander won the match when Josh hit a C4 spike piledriver on the stage, and Hammerstone was rising up at 9 but stumbled back down at 10 to lose the match. Then we saw a match between Jordan Grace vs Steph DeLander for the Knockouts Championship, and the result of this match was Jordan Grace defeated Steph DeLander when John Schuyler distracted the referee and Grace accidentally blasted the referee with a spinning backfist. Then Steph DeLander smashed Grace with the title belt and the good hands stole the ref's shirt to make the count, lights out, and PCO was in the ring for the save and attacked good hands, and then Steph DeLander tried to play with PCO, but PCO went to attack on Steph, but Big Khan came out to battle PCO and the bad guys were in control. Then we saw some battle between Grace and Khan, and Khan went to snap Grace's neck, and the lights went out again and Sammy Callahan returned to TNA for the save, he cleared the ring and handed Steph DeLander over to Grace for the juggernaut driver, and Grace won the match by pinfall to retain the knockouts championship. In the main event of the show, we saw a match between Moose vs Nick Namath for the TNA World Championship, and the result of this match was Moose defeated Nick Namath by pinfall with a spear to retain the TNA World Championship. After the main event, the lights went out and Matt Hardy was in the ring for a twist of fate to Moose. Hardy held the world title high to close the show.